So the new iPhones have been released and if you're watching this video then that means you are looking for a case to protect your investment. Unless you're watching this video because you are bored but nonetheless here are 5 really awesome cases for the iPhone 6s and 6s plus that you can pick up for under $25. So let's begin. So starting off the list is this clear case from Oblique. Now it comes in at just $14 and it's available in black, clear, orange and mint. It has a simple clear polycarbonate back with a TPU bumper that protects the iPhone from scratches and helps absorb impact when dropped. The buttons are easy to press thanks to the TPU material, however the vibrate button may need some additional work to access since it's deeper inside. The cutouts are precise with some extra room for third party accessories which is always nice and offers great protection all around. The oblique case does have a very slight lip which will protect the screen of the phone if you happen to place it face down. But what makes this case different than the others is the fact that it comes with a magnetic metal kickstand in the back. Just simply pop it open and place it on any flat surface. You can then enjoy videos without having to hold it with your hands. For only $14 you get a good looking case that offers good protection and what's great about the clear back is that you can get creative and add skins to it to really change up the overall look of your phone. At number 2 we have the Virus High Pro Shield case that comes in at $18 and it's available in rose gold, red and a bunch of other colors. It's a two piece case that features a hard polycarbonate bumper and a soft thermoplastic cover. The back of the case has this really cool brushed metal look which feels really great in the hand and the buttons are really easy to press with the exception of the vibrate button being inconvenient to access with one hand. Out of all the cases the Virus High Pro Shield has the biggest edge rays to protect the front of the screen from scratches or touching the ground in the event it drops. The case has a really snug fit with precise cutouts for even third party accessories as well but overall a really solid and good looking case for protection. This next case is also from Virus but has a different purpose altogether. This is the Damda and it comes in at $17 with a variety of colors to choose from. It features a hard cover back and a soft cover made out of TPU to protect the phone from impact. This is essentially a protective case that offers some space for your cards. Now if you guys are like me and hate carrying a wallet or cash then this is perfect for you. The slider opens up easily and fits up to two cards comfortably. It can technically fit up to three cards however there will be a slight bulge so if that doesn't mess with your OCD then you should be able to get away with it. The buttons on the Damda case are extremely soft and all I have to do is just tap it slightly in order to press it. By far the most responsive buttons out of all the cases featured in this video. The cutouts on the bottom are also big enough for third party accessories. Now like the previous Virus case, this one too has a noticeably big lip to protect the front of the phone when laying it face down. If you guys have been looking for a case that doubles as a wallet and don't mind picking up something a little more on the bulkier side, then the Damda case is worth taking a look at. This next case is from a brand called Poetic and this is the Affinity Series case. It comes in at $15 and offers a black and clear option. The case is made out of clear polycarbonate material integrated with soft shockproof TPU. The pattern on the side offers a solid grip to the phone and the buttons are pretty soft to press however the vibrate switch does require some extra effort to reach. Although the cutouts don't exactly line up with the speaker grills, the audio isn't really affected and there's plenty of room for pretty much any accessory. One thing to also take note is that all of these cases solve the camera protruding problem so that you can easily rest the phone on the back without worrying about scratching the camera lens. For only $15 you not only get a good looking case but you also get a more grippier case that will protect your iPhone 6s from drops. Last but not least we have the Spigen Neo Hybrid Carbon Case. It comes in at a little under $24 and has several other color options. This case is my favorite one out of the other four because I think it has the coolest design and doesn't add much bulk to the phone. The case features shock absorbing TPU with an outer glossy PC frame that's kind of slippery if your hands are moist. The back however has a really nice design with glossy chamfered areas along with a carbon fiber feel for the top and bottom of the case. Definitely one of the more good looking cases featured in this video. The buttons have a silver glossy finish as well and are extremely tactile and easy to press and the cutouts are large enough for most accessories. Like the rest of the cases in this video, the Neo Hybrid also offers a raised lip to protect the front of the phone. I just wish that the bumper didn't have a glossy finish making it somewhat slippery to hold on to. I do want to give an honorable mention to the leather wallet case for those out there that use one. This case is an extremely affordable one coming in at just $13 and has a few other color options as well. 
It has three card slots and a money pocket on the side, which is perfect for anyone that doesn't like carrying their wallet with them. The phone easily snaps in and out of place, and you can even use this as a kickstand to watch videos in landscape mode. Not much else to say other than you get a really solid leather wallet case for only $13. This last item isn't really a case, but a Hollister to hold your phone, regardless if it has a case or not. So I thought I'd mention this in this video in case anyone is interested. So that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it and want me to continue doing these top 5 series, then definitely be sure to hit that like button so I know. And also let me know what I should feature in my next top 5 video by dropping a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.